Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to some more Vampire. So. We are in the museum. And we are supposed to get out of here, well, do our job, then get out of here stealthily. However, a voice in the back of my head has told me that unlike the previous mission by LaCroix, this one is down to a technicality. In that, in this mission, you are, or well, I, am supposed to not kill anyone. That is all. I can be seen, and I can run through the entirety of the museum while, you know, dozens upon dozens of guards are shooting at me. I'm simply not allowed to kill anyone. Now, although, be it this is no small technicality, not murdering people is um, rather difficult in this line of work. However makes my job infinitely easier. So, let's begin by obfuscating our way through the main museum floor. And I think I shall wait for this person to uh, move on. There we go. You can be on your merry way, and so shall I. There is also an artifact I need to grab for Pisha, and uh, we need to remember that. Oops. Alright, so. Uh... Keep ourselves stealthy, yes? Should I let him pass and then continue? Well, if nothing but time. Lots of footsteps, lots of footsteps all around. The question being, where am I going? Down there, probably? Probably, you never know. Let's see. Now that is not a natural sound, but, uh... Actually, I don't know. Uh-oh. Ready on the dial, as they say. Ready on the dial. It would be extraordinarily helpful for me if I could get through this segment without getting shot at. Like that would be worth a lot of blood being used. Museum security? What's through here? The toilet. Alright. Through here, the storage. Ah! And here, a vent. Now... I have no idea where this leads, but usually vents lead to generally useful locations. Oh, there's one guard in there I didn't see, but uh, he didn't see me either. Through here, this would lead us to some form of office area. Probably want to go in there, but for now, a this is also very useful. There is a guard there, though. There is a guard there. Let's see if we can... I was gonna say, let's see if we can find anything of worth in this room, which we clearly cannot. So... Make it a little bit more difficult for people to get in, I don't know. Okay. Can I use my vampiric agility 
to get myself positioned back into the uh, the vent. So I'm on the computer, and I uh, let's let's use this. So let's do this from from this angle. So I'm jumping. I'm crouching. I'm crouch jumping. And I position myself on the computer, and now all I need to do is rise up. I rise up and into the vent. Up and into the vent, I say. Up and into the... Into the vent. Yes. Excellent. E ex excellent. No. Yeah, yes, exactly. Right, right, right. Like so. Like so. Okay, who said it can't be done? Lies. Now, there is a person there which we don't want to disturb, but there is no one here. At least not that I can immediately see. Lost and found. Missing... <laughs> missing children? What? <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, well, there is a computer. Uh, yes, I can hack this. Never mind, I can't. Is it the same password? Question. It's not the same password. I love Gabe. Oh. Right, fetish. Uh, okay. Reminder. Working the museum for the next few days. Okay. Next. Virus alert. So, there is one avenue, sort of, to exit through. This is the other one. But for this, we need a key. Okay. Now... I can hear something right there. Oh, dear, this is not what I want to be, is it? Not necessarily. To be honest, I don't exactly not want to be here either. But we have used the key, and now we're free to move on. Provided there is no one here. So far, so good. We've received a little bit of information here and there about the museum. Acquired some means of access again here and there. Ah, this I can open. Lead me downstairs. Very well. This looks like where I want to be, but for the record, in case something horrible happens, horrible and unpredictable, I'm to do that. Now, there is a guard in there. Yeah, well, there's something just happened. I thought I was getting spotted. Does not matter all too much. Uh, please go the other way. Please go the other way. Please go the other way. Of course he doesn't. Of course he doesn't go the other way. Just don't. I don't want to get seen by that guy. Good. Good. Now this doesn't grant me immunity from the cameras, unfortunately. Which do exist. But hey. We 
gets us through one area. And now we need to be mindful of the cameras. So, left or right? Um, I suppose we shall see. Ah! Pisha's artifact. Now, you might notice the broken glass. Or he might just walk past it, completely disregarding the fact that the glass is indeed broken. This is an alternative to what he may do. Now, over there is, I believe, the door to the arcane sarcophagus. Museum workroom key. Do we need a museum workroom key? That's the the profound question. Yes. Can we hack this? This is the This is Not gonna happen, eh? Okay then. Mindful of one camera, mindful of the other camera. No. Where did you get that number, Juggernaut? I didn't. I, uh... Right Shit. Alright. Thought I clicked it on time. Apparently I didn't. Thought I turned myself invisible. Or he could uh, notice that I, well, very much was visible, but apparently not. Now, the race is on. Like I said, I do not have to murder anyone. Well, I, I can't actually murder anyone. Read quickly, uh, read quickly. Take, take. Good. Damn it. That was my second chance to become invisible. Okay, go, go. move, 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 Okay, moved. Move, 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 move. Is there anything useful in here? No. Uh, this way. This way and to the sarcophagus. That's, that's the idea. This way, then left, if I recall correctly. Hello, gentlemen. If you could stop shooting at my behind, that would be highly... Appreciate it. I have no idea how to get past this guy without. What's the key again? What's the key again? 2358. 2358. Can I click that quickly enough? While getting shot at, I'm going to hide. Is the better option? I can't hide with a room in a room with a broken glass. Jesus Christ. No, I'm going to get myself shot at. Yeah, I'm going to get killed. Ah, it's. Why did they go there? They were supposed to be chasing me. They went on the other end. It was absurd. Instead of chasing me, they went down the other lane. Like, the, who does that? I have a bad feeling about what's about to happen, so... But I wasn't even spotted. Now this time you didn't. You, I'm sorry. This time you didn't see me. That that's that's. It, it's the after effects from what happened last time. Yes. So. You really you think that's gonna happen if I just go in there and, and so I should do something else? You say. Voice in the back of my head. I don't. Is it a camera? It's a camera for crying out loud. I'm... I keep forgetting there's a camera right there. Hmm. 
Yes, this is how you're supposed to go down. Now, you think you saw something, but you, in actual fact, saw nothing. Good. Precisely. So, down the corridor, past the camera, into the office, into the back office, where you'll get the key, which is... Mm, I don't remember it at this point. But then, oh... Seriously, okay. Now, sit here and let them ponder the existence of God. Because it's exactly what they're going to be doing. When they realized they had you cornered and you are now gone. That's excellent. Go into the room. You follow your colleague into the room. While I very sneakily make my way out of here and in to the room with the sarcophagus. Please turn around. I don't want to use another uh, obfuscate. I have to because of the camera goes all day. Probably the case. I could go through that door, but there is something else this way for me. Because of the camera again. And then we'll just bomb rush the door. Well, yeah, because that worked so well last time, eh? It worked. It didn't exactly work well, but it worked. Well, up until I made it to the door, then, you know, at that point, sure, fair enough. Here's your goddamn artifact. Now, woman. Okay, wait for the camera to turn around, because you're in its blind spot, and then bomb rush the door. Again, what's the ch what's the key? 2358. Drop police! Really? I have an idea. Sit in the corner. I kept my eyes closed during, during the entire time they were moving past me. Two, three, five, eight. Two, three, five, eight. Remember, remember. That is the key, right? Two, three, five, eight. Yes and wait for this person to move, because he eventually will have to. Eventually. One day. You will move. You'll get hungry. You'll need to go to the bathroom. And other pathetic human excuses. Move. Well, either that, or I go around, draw him, then come back here, type the key in, and run through, which, in retrospect, doesn't seem like that horrible of an idea, but... You know, I could hysteria him. Because here's what would happen. I would hysteria him, I would lose all my blood, then I would be able to rush through. That wouldn't count as killing him, because it's just a temporary debuff. Right <laughs> run. Ready with the obfuscate, but run. Now run down the other way.
god right there, okay. Uh <laughs> I don't have the key. Furthermore, I I do I have any what do I have? Can I check what sort of keys I have? No? No. Um okay. Tell you what. Use one of the blood packs that you brought with you. Fuck you! Hello? No, 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 you have me in your corner. I don't want to be in your corner. I don't want to be in your corner. Friend. Really, you, you came out of a, a locked door that doesn't open. This is really the case. Key, key of any description, anywhere near here, no. Key of any description, anywhere near here, no. Without murdering one of the guards. I remember. But Jesus Christ, that's going to take forever. What I need to do now is I need to go back up to the storage room. Grab the key, run back down here, go through the door, into the sarcophagus. Well, not into the sarcophagus, but you know. Actually, definitely not into the sarcophagus. God, that would be terrible. But, you know, towards the general direction of the sarcophagus. It seems like a... generally decent idea. Can I get past that guard? Probably. Will he move? Maybe, maybe not. You never know with them. That or I... You know, just straight up murder one of the guards, that would also do it. It would get me through. Let's wait for him to move. Shan't we? Yes, I think we shall. Let us wait for him to move, and then we will go through. So... I tried several things. Um, I tried to find the key, but uh, it doesn't work. And I've spent right around a day and a half, realistically two whole days, what with other recordings and the likes, trying to get past this level. So, stepping out of character for a moment, um, there is a very specific thing we need to do if we're going to finish this mission properly. And that is increase our hacking to level 4. Now, we can also spend our, our stuff on something else. And I think I will. Probably like on strength or... Uh, well, I don't have enough for strength now. Obfuscate is 10. It's not the 6. Dodge, maybe? Brawl. Actually, let's spend a little bit on dodge as well. So there's a there's a reason why I'm why I'm doing this in this particular manner, right? Um, namely, there is only one way to get past these beams if you've been detected without having the key. Which I can't tell you for certain whether I do or do not. I think I do, and the game is just glitching out because I think I picked the key up somewhere along the way, but even if I did. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get in there and hack the terminal. Um, disable the uh, 
the thing, and upon disabling it, you will unlock yourself the ability to go through. Is there a problem with this? I can't interact with the computer. I can. There. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. series not so long ago called I Shouldn't Be Alive. Well, I believe this is a scenario. Ah, you see, here, this should now be open. When you break this, and when you open, uh, when you disable these and you break that, the door should be open. Door isn't. It's not open. There is now only one way of opening it, and that's by killing the guard, but that's not what I want to do. And I tried finding the proper key for it upstairs, like I said, for the better part of two days. It doesn't work. So apparently, I've, I've been so browsing the forums a little bit, and in order to open this, I'm going to need to cheat. So. Take that door. Basically, the consensus is you have to cheat to get that door open um, in this particular scenario. Because the idea, what with even with all the patches and stuff, the idea was when you do that in that particular sequence, you can open it if the key bugs out. So I've tried every single avenue of success. Uh, same goes for this door, though I think the, 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 the same key opens that one and this one, I think. Uh, but there is... no? No? Okay. And there we go. I'm gonna disable the no clip right now, because, uh... Yeah. I can't understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Beckett. Why am I glad? I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Did you stare at the box? Sometimes I stare at things for hours. Since it's box? missing, I'm inclined to believe it was stolen. Or intentionally misplaced, if you like. Clearly, though, it's not here. Mm -hmm. Turn out your pockets, Beckett. Well, he didn't... You really believe the arcane sarcophagus is in, is in his pockets? But just to clarify once again about the doors, I tried with the keys. I did for the better part of two days. I tried to pick up the keys from upstairs. Occasionally, the game will bog out and not let you use the keys until you kill the guard. Um, from him, I think you can pick up a key as well, and I think that key will let you through. Uh, matter, of, matter of fact, I did test killing him. Um, and, and opening it with his key, and it does work, but it doesn't work through any other alternative way of going through the door without killing the guard. It bugs out. And uh, again, I've, I've went through the forums, this is how it's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to work, but it doesn't. So, I've, I've been told to no clip. so I, I, I apologize, stepping out of character again, but we sort of had to do it in order to progress with the game, right? So, bang the character. <clears throat> A supervillain must have stolen it. The batty signal. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. <laughs> uh, Weren't you here to take it away? Wouldn't that make you an attempted thief?
Uh, I came here because the man in the tower said to, I that think. That definitely doesn't make it theft. Stolen Every fire? supernatural creature in Los Angeles is suspect, as are most human thieves. I suppose we may want to question magicians as well. Uh, okay. Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. Right. The antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. But each bloodline or clan supposedly traces its origin to an antediluvian. Some say these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. Hmm. So, you don't. Um, and you're telling me that everything that is sort of pointing towards uh, this, this doomsday event is all just nonsense and belief, right? Oh, don't let me interrupt your progress, if indeed you've made some. My reason for being here is probably being bid on as we speak. Someone is certainly going to be surprised when they find out they've just paid a kingly sum for a desiccated old corpse. Bush to rediscover this box. Yes, I do. Um... I do wish to rediscover that box. Someone's gonna be stupid enough to open it. Uh, well... That... would not be good. Now, you've returned me to Santa Monica. I can't help but... Yeah, do I have anything to do in Santa Monica? Literally nothing. Okay, so literally the only thing left for me to do is to go and talk to the Peter Prince. Ride. Downtown. However... I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should talk to someone else too? Before I talk to the Prince? God, that is a stupidly tall building. Like I said, maybe I should talk to someone else before I talk to the prince. Ah, well, no. I'm curious what he has to say and who his uh, suspects are. Security guard? Mm. Oh, excuse me, uh, starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Mm, maybe one of them chimps, like on that show 8 Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. Send me to this guy as quickly what? as you can. Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. LaCroix is expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Interesting. Have you done anything else in your life but guard things? Don't answer the question I don't want to know. Can I talk to you? You scare me. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Huh. 
And the Jester's hat, don't forget that. Then you can join the crows on the fence after we're done here. The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pikes for. Now to the matter of the sarcophagus. Do you need assistance bringing it up? It was stolen, or never there at all. It was stolen, but there were lots of dinosaurs, so I had fun. <laughs> stolen? Stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have... I had a feeling you would know who is. Sewer rat. The Nosferatu primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now, my mistake. The Nos... I want him found. I want him... found. The sarcophagus could be... exploited. Opened. Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands... Hmm. First a dead man, then an old box, now a gary. It's like the scavenge hunt. <laughs> the Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort him out. Is there any way I can persuade you from... No, never mind. <sighs> so he will start a war then with the Anarchs. There will be blood. This is a great title for the video. <laughs> there will be blood. Hi. My man, what is up? I would like to sell you something. Starting with the shotgun. And the knife. And... The axe as well, because it's useless to me. And then the silver rings. Uh, beneath your abilities, so sell it. Research skills, no. Okay, normal watch, we don't need that. Is beneath your abilities, so we can sell that too. Um, Blood Star, yes, I, I remember this as well. Blood buff. Um, and I will sell you three morphine bottles and a car stereo. Excellent. Need anything else? I don't think so. There you go, $2,500. And hopefully, I will be able to spend them in Hollywood. Because, and again, let me check. There is nothing else to do downtown. No, there is not. So, take me to Hollywood. Ain't seen you here before, and if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Look, a talking walking sign. Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. This down loves me already. Well, you know what? I don't want to cause any trouble, and again, apparently this part of town has a. Baron of sorts, so...
let us uh, go to this jewelry store. It's probably on the other end of the street, isn't it? Yep. Okay, other end of the street then, gotcha. Where's the book? What is is it? No. Okay. Lucky Star Motel. I'll remember that. Need to go there. This looks like a Chinese place. Sunset Print. Jewelry store. Right. Isaac, I believe. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Yes, I'm his mouth. No, your messenger spun me around and pointed me in your Very direction. Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. Ah. Bit of a control freak, then. Does L.A. in LaCroix... Does L.A. in LaCroix stand for L.A.? Your purpose is a mystery to lunatic in your office. <laughs> it gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Hmm. This one is puzzled. Oh, LaCroix. That's egotistical ask about LaCroix. His reach in Los Angeles far exceeds his grasp, Prince. Don't make me laugh. Prince is a title. An outdated and absurd bit of jargon given to any fool that would scheme hard enough for it. I don't recognize it, and neither will any kindred under the protection of this barony. So you will not recognize the title of Prince, but you recognize the title of Baron for yourself. That's, uh, okay. I don't fear LaCroix, nor do I give a damn about his jackboots, sycophants, and court jesters. Let them all come to Hollywood. It would be a battle sequence worthy of Kurosawa. Hmm. I'll be sure to pass on the invitation. By all means, please do. Now tell me, what brings you to Hollywood? And don't tell me you're just here to stroll the Walk of Fame. Where have all the slides? appreciates a good joke, doesn't it? Don't you find it the slightest bit hilarious that LaCroix would send you to ask me, of all people, where he could find the Nosferatu? Has it truly come to this? <laughs> the Kangaroo Court. I'm willing to give you my full cooperation, provided you pay proper tribute. Pay? For one who lives in a jewelry store, very greedy, what's the cost? I will pay you all in my pockets, nothing. That's not to have a lot of money. Actually kind of rich. Maybe Nosferatu will come to complain when your blood fl when your blood floods the sewer. No. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week, I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? I am your Patsy. Speaking of paranoia, no. Simple pickups, all that's involved. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe, <laughs> look for a directory named Joseph K, and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify really? a nearby location. Meet the contact. Joseph K and back. Kafka. Huh. I'm not even gonna write that down. I'm gonna remember it. Yes. Don't disappear and reappear. In I the meantime, have. consider yourself a welcome guest. 
thank you. Um, again, I don't want to get on his bad side. I definitely get... I don't care about the prince's side at this point. He doesn't seem to wield that much control as much. Well, but then again, he kind of does. He did just call a blood hunt on nine, so... And a, a bit... A tiny little bit of me is sort of saying Nines deserves it, because why on earth would you not respond? Why on earth would you would you just, just run away like that? Oh my whoa, gosh, whoa. is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what, never mind. We have to help you. Madness, believe me, I know. It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Don't tell them that it's a lie. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see. Everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here. I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. But... What? It's gonna be okay. N what? Okay. Um... Do I run? Apparently I know this... S Samantha person? Um... Jenny? Yeah, it's Sam. You'll never believe who I found. You know who disappeared a little while ago? Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it either. He just walked by me in Hollywood. He's right here. Anyhow, something seems wrong, and I, and I wondered if you could call a few people and... Well, he didn't recognize me at first, and I think it might be drugs or something. He needs our help. Okay. Well, maybe we could check him into a hospital or, or get the police involved. Well, we can't just leave him here like this. He's... All right, call them and I'll, and I'll keep him here. Just let everybody know he's alive and that we're going to get him some help. It's going to be okay. Well, not really. It's going to be okay. Well, you're going to follow me around town now. Okay. Um. Sir. Never mind. It's gonna be okay. Okay, yeah, you know, sure. Sure, follow me around town. Kill her. I, I believe that's what the masquerade thing to do would have would have been, right? No one recognizes you from your past life, and uh, well, the go-to option is to murder them, isn't it? But oh. the masquerade won't mind one violation, first of all. I can't kill you. I, you know me. You want to help me, and I don't think the person on the other end of the phone isn't so willing to. So you know what? Follow me around, and follow me around to your own peril. Yeah? How about that? Grand Zero Internet Cafe. Right. Let's go into the Internet Cafe, and then we'll go into the Lucky Star Motel. But this. Intrigues me. You won't follow me inside, will you? Uh, apparently not. Okay. Oh. Ah. 
Ah! Peculiar. Okay. Cowboy's Guide to Cyberspace by Case. Can I read that, maybe? No, I need a pretty high research skill in order to do that. Okay, well in that case, let's uh, jump on a computer and find... Login UQTU. No, not my thing. What's this one? Paula. If I can't have this... This one, perhaps. Whoops. Joseph K. Apps. Access denied. Your account balance is 0 0.56. To recharge your account, he speaks to the Ground Zero employee manager. Okay, email. Pass the word required. Let's see if I can hack it. Okay, email. Uh, Joseph K was Kafka. Is the password? Yes, it was. Provide us to the read me. Okay, previous. Meet me in the alley behind the fast buck. Okay. I shall do that. My shadow disappeared? Apparently so. Apparently so. Meet him behind the fast buck. Now I will, but there is the Lucky Star Motel I need to visit first. So... In, then we go. And there is a lot of places to visit around town in general, so... Sorry, Hello, good sir. No vacancies. Yeah, you do that. So you're going to let me do that? Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and pull the. No questions asked. I mean, I say that, but the way I say things. In general, sort of uh, evoke that response from people, I believe. So I, I really shouldn't be surprised that, that they react like so. Okay. Oh my god! My work is done. I know you! Brother Salvage. I know you. I recognize you. Yes, I did. Aha! He is the person I met somewhere. I just can't remember where exactly. I can't put a. can't pin the place entirely. But I met him somewhere and I just. He was something. He was doing something. That's a good eight, I can't buff up to that, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Brother Salvage in Santa Monica. At the last murder scene. 
Yes, I guess Santa Monica is what I'm off to next, but that's gonna have to wait because there's a lot of, there's lots of business to attend to in Hollywood. I can't remember exact. Oh, you know where I met him? In the diner in Santa Monica. Yes, I, I remember the place now. I met that person specifically in the diner in Santa Monica, and he was there up until. Uh, Therese called a sort of night eating you. The dead have taken up residence in your establishment. Already, man, that's early for tonight. Oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up to, to protect and serve, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just noticing things. The man who took your, who looks like you speaking to me. Yeah. You do that. A curious person. I'm pretty sure you 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 think I killed him, but you know whatever. Is this a common occurrence in the Lucky Star? People keep dying. No. All right. Um. Look. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go somewhere uninvited. Never mind, that's closed. Sunset print. Hmm. You know, when is that sound though that they I hate to ask the question, because you might actually show up and then annoy the living Christ out of me. But then again, Partially my responsibility. Now that place looks particularly curious. Excuse me, sir, do you have a time? Do you have some time to talk about our Lord and Savior blood? So, next, went to the Lucky Star Motel, found precious little, explored this part of town, let's go to the, um, go to the supermarket, there's all sorts of interesting people there, you never know who you're going to run into. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the Deb of Night. So, Hello. Uh, Nobody to fall asleep next uh, to you? Welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monstro Chug. 72 ounces for. of your favorite and beverage hey, for 89 cents. Sometime. Blah, blah. Area code you need help or something? KL5 KTRK. What is this city like hiding from me? Quite a while to speak to um, truly. Humility? So call her, Seriously. You want some I orange juice or something to help car you come down? Because, like, oh, you're wigging. I don't even have a car, dude. Or I can seek the blood of the living as or the killer that walks these streets but he his hands again. No, no, no. Uh, this isn't know. gonna turn out to be asleep, ironic, is it? Your you're not, like, a serial so killer, are you? you? You can't prevent it if you're asleep. I mean, you, well, what can you do? Are is there any this... scientists out there listening to this? Is the city uh, of stars on fire? You have nothing to fear except every other thing, though. Like a creamy center and a colorful candy shell and their commercial should have like kung fu or giraffe. Amusing. Truly amusing. I shall return here, I assume, at one point. 
No, for what reason, I don't know, but oh, eventually. <clears throat> Metal and Industries sounds like what I want to be, but it's locked. Asp Hole. Okay. Oops. Good as place as any to visit, I suppose. <clears throat> oh. One of those places. You look dangerous. Not as dangerous as I, but you do look dangerous. Do I know you? Oh, <laughs> I, I believe I ran into your sister the other night. Oh. Uh... I don't know myself. How can you know me? Let me give you my phone number. Ready? Here's the first digit. Do I know you? Um, I don't know. Maybe I... S yeah, I think we should see that? other people immediately and never look back or look or speak to each other ever, ever again. Well, don't be so yes. cruel. Um... I find the most erotic part of a woman's body is the b Okay. Look into my eyes. Ah, get out, get out, get out. Uh, uh, does that sound familiar? I didn't think so. Do I know you? Right. Um... Oh my gosh. My loser sense is tingling. You... Okay. I... It's really... Usually goes better, but okay. Um, I, you may have noticed I don't take no for an answer very lightly. Um, but yes, fine. Interesting people in this area. I should probably go death for the evening, but I can do that a little bit later as well. So, so far, not a fan of this city, not really. Um, I'm supposed to meet someone behind, or not someone, but I'm supposed to deliver the movie. Behind the, uh, was it the quick buck? Yes. Now, if I go there and find him murdered, I will be highly disappointed. Yeah? What do you want? Blood Baron sends forth what? porn. Blood Baron? What the hell? Who are you? Didn't Isaac send... Ah, damn. You must have the wrong guy. I don't know what you're talking about. Get lost. Just trust me that... Just trust me the terrible tape, and you can retreat. You know that it's terrible, don't you? <clears throat> That's foreshadowing. All right. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Keep your uh, secrets. I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing... It's sick. It can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Right. Rid yourself of the curse and hand me this horror. I have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. What the... Oh, Christ! <gasps> Nosferatu. The Nosferatu got him, then. Ah, uh, it's... You might call me... 
is it racist? It's vampires? Like clanist? Maybe? But, uh, you may call me that. Do I know you? Put your thoughts on, old woman. I, I will come back when I look somewhat more handsome. Um. Here's the problem, though. He told me I need to find something, and I have to be brutally honest with you. I didn't watch. hear what. Ginger swans, yes. Ginger swans. What on earth is ginger swans? Alright, let's go in here, because we haven't been in here for one. And two, it looks like a place where ginger swans might be. I don't know. Oh. Or it might not. I know you. Ah, oh, look what just swapped in. I can't imagine. I know you. Much of a what? You were in the service. council, when, weren't you? Are. Maybe I'll have more luck with you. I was just thinking the same thing. Huh. I'm. Very well, give me a second though. Your brother is. I know your brother. Okay, tell you what, let's go let's go upstairs. Let's not let's let's not delay, shall we? Very nice. Lose the posters. Replace... Well, all the posters with a giant TV and... Ooh. Isn't this better? You and me alone? For just a little while. Away from Jihad and the nonsense. And the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment. But there's a reason I needed to speak <laughs> to you alone. <laughs> Um, let's speak in this moment until our skins get wrinkly, which is never. Oh, well, yeah. Mm. Let's. I'm still soaking. I'm still soaking. Okay, the reason fine. You up <laughs> I've had enough. And the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. Hmm. Hunters fight, hunters cry, hunters dance, and hunters die. That may be so. But some kind are skilled beyond all our ability. Some in the arts, some in murder. If they smell a corpse, they'll bury it. I'm Velvet. Valor. Call me Velvet. It's been months since I've seen anyone new in here. I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? Oh, I know I've heard you've a lot heard about, about me. I've... So, uh... Look, I see you know. past the smooth skin, the powder, the, uh... Honestly, gorgeous eyes and... Provocative clothing. You are a grade-A manipulator. But I will bite for now. Um... Flatterer? No. I'm just a dancer. Keep it up and maybe I'll give you your own very private show. I can make your heart beat again. That I sincerely doubt. I'm dead, you're dead, we're all dead, 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 just a reminder. I like being dead, but I'll risk it if you tell me more about you. I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine. I've heard that somewhere so before. To see what I'm about. Perhaps this is deja vu. Tell me about hunters. the hunters. Yes. They've been staking out hard. I believe I've week. seen They've one or Nash's two. Club, mine, few others. I think they're whittling down their list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. 
Until recently, I had one right under my nose. It's one tiny hunter. I usually keep them under my... For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in her locker, and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. I can make it so she never watches you and breathe dirt. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. You'd really be willing to do this for me? No, I'd Won't be willing lie. to do it for the masquerade be because they're a little bit upset at me. But if you got rid of is this her, a masquerade I'd thing? Be it could be. There is a chance very, that this is a masquerade thing. Very grateful. Plus, I want you to be grateful a lot. <laughs> She exactly. works over at the center. That is, um, ponder blonde, the meaning of my words. On top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Mm. I will repair with their blood on my smile. Yes. Yes, I shall. But I shall reappear next time. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, with this rather, um, intriguing scene, I bid you farewell. Good night.